folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Well, once again, it's hay mowing time. So I've been out mowing with the bush hog, cleaning up the land a little bit and getting ready for hay mowing time. So you gotta make hay while the sun is shining, quote unquote. Well, it's absolutely the truth. The sun is shining. It's about 84 degrees. The wind is blowing. It's time to get over here. And we've got about 25 acres of hay to cut today. We're gonna let it dry overnight tonight and we're gonna let it dry all day tomorrow. We'll rake it and we'll bale it the day after tomorrow. So I'm gonna take you around the equipment here and show you a little bit about the prep work that goes into mowing hay and what you might need to know in case you're gonna bale hay or mow hay or whatever it is that you're gonna do with hay on your farm. We'll take you around the machine here. This is a New Holland 492 hay bind. We'll take you around it, show you what's going on, talk to you a little bit about the tractor, and then we're going to get busy. All right. Every time we get on the tractor, we need to do a visual inspection. We need to kind of go front to back, side to side, do a visual inspection. You can see I've been mowing here and I've already cleaned out most of these little fuzzies that are in the grill, but we need to make sure that that is nice and clean so that we don't get an overheating issue. And you can see right here, this needs to be gotten out. That's fuzz balls that were on weeds that I've been mowing. So get rid of those. That way they'll grow in the gravel next year. If you want grass to grow, just put some gravel down. So we'll go all around the tractor. There are two lubrication points right here where this front end axle articulates and we need to make sure that those places are nice and well lubricated. All the grease fittings are well lubricated and we pulled our loader system off. So we did have a John Deere loader system on the front right here and we pulled it off. Basically all you have to do is pull two pins and disconnect your hydraulic lines right over here. So basically our quick visual inspection just shows me, do I have a tire with a hole in it? Do I have anything going on? Am I dragging something up underneath it? Is everything okay? Do I have oil pouring out of it? And we'll reach in here, right here's a dipstick. We'll check our oil, okay? So pretty much, we don't have a rag with me right now, but we'll check it right here in just a minute. We also wanna make sure that we don't have any significant oil leaks. Now I've got a little bit of oil kind of collecting dust right here. Anywhere you see dust on a brand new tractor, that means there's oil leaking out somewhere. So we need to check into that at some point. We'll go around and make sure there's nothing sticking out of any tires or anything like that. Everything looks pretty good. We're gonna put everything together. So this is not a three point setup. This is a pin system that holds the tongue in place. We wanna make sure our key is in place down here. We wanna hit all of our lubrication points. One, two, three lubrication points right here. This has one single hydraulic hose and that single hydraulic hose runs back to a cylinder on the back and we'll talk about that here in a second. We wanna go through here and we wanna inspect. We wanna take a look at all of our teeth. And I like to lubricate these teeth, okay? I wanna make sure that there are no teeth broken off so that I don't leave one stripe of grass somewhere sticking up. I wanna make sure that all of our little bearings here are lubricated and ready to go. And I sprayed a little bit of oil right on to each one of these bearings. I think there are one, two, three, four, four or five of these roller bearings in this roller setup right here. Gonna go around and I'll show you the lubrication point. So there's a lubrication point here to lubricate the bearing, which is in there for this big old roller right here. I like to make sure once again, that my blades are nice and lubricated. You can see this blade kind of goes like that. So in this direction, it just kind of cuts like that. And that goes, through the gearbox, just like that. As we cruise on around, we'll hit all of our grease points. There's a grease point right here. We've hit all these grease points already. We wanna make sure our tires aren't flat. We wanna make sure that they've got plenty of air and we aired those tires up. I'm gonna do a visual inspection here of our rollers and make sure that nothing is hung up in the rollers before we get started and make sure there are no big chunks taken out of these rollers. And these rollers are used to crimp the grass. So the grass flows right in between these two rollers right here and it crimps it so that it dries faster, okay? It breaks the stalk of the grass. We wanna cruise on around here, inspect this wheel, make sure that there's nothing obviously wrong. We've got plenty of air in our tires. We have lubrication points. This is the hydraulic cylinder that I was telling you about. What happens is you raise that cylinder and then we move this bar back and set this pin in and then the machine is able to go boom all the way down to the ground and back up. This is the setting for transport and storage and that is the setting for use. Now in here we have on every single bearing a grease fitting. So grease fitting, grease fitting, grease fitting, grease fitting, grease fitting and then there's another one inside here and we'll go through right here on this bearing. There's another grease fitting. Let's open this cabinet up. So inside this cabinet, there are two containers that have oil in them. Do not overfill them or they will explode. There's also a little storage bin right here for extra blades. We wanna check our hydraulic hose, make sure it's got plenty of play, plenty of room in there to move because this machine is gonna be moving back and forth like that. Now, we have a pin system right here. 
and this pin basically pulls in and out and it ain't gonna pull right now <laughs> it's kind of funny it's not gonna pull right now but I gotta pull this pin out rotate the entire machine over to the furthest pinhole right there and that will offset this machine to the tractor in other words I'll show you so the tractor will remain here but this entire machine will be over to the side right here and the reason behind that is because you don't want to run over your hay before you cut it. Now this John Deere tractor has a high, a medium, and a low. So we're not going to mow in low gear, we're going to mow in the middle, medium gear, number one. And that'll put us probably at somewhere around three to four and a half miles an hour. Now I don't know what I ran over, but there is blood here. There is blood here. I go around on the other side of the tractor and there's all kinds of blood on this wheel not sure what i ran over i saw some rabbits while i was out there but man that's a lot of blood every single wheel even that wheel's got blood on it man it's a freddy krueger tractor <laughs> quickly before we do go something I failed to tell you is this thing while it's going down the road takes up a lane and a half of traffic so if you have to travel on the road a whole lot when you're doing your hay this is not the setup for you okay the 492 is huge it takes up a lane and a half of traffic I will stop traffic when I drive this thing down the road <music> 